What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are going to do something that is a bit of a kind of beginner's guide. It might actually help some of you that are not necessarily beginners, but don't pay attention too much to the event schedule, but I wanted to go over and make sure everybody had a basis of what the four-week rotating schedule was, what is included in every week, and what you want to save, and when you want to spend your resources. So, if you have not just yet, hit that subscribe button, take one second to do that, Let's hit the intro and let's jump into it. So some of you may know, some of you may not, but since Imp's Adventure came out about uh, seven months ago, eight months ago at this point, we have not had a single change to our four week schedule in that amount of time about nine months roughly this is something very different for idle heroes because in the past they would constantly be changing the week schedule and we wouldn't even know until tuesday what to expect for the next week so this is a very welcome change you can definitely plan your resources better they even give us even more up to date information to uh to kind of spoil things to come like hey you know make sure you save this currency or make sure you save these quests which is very much appreciated and it does help us plan ahead so we are going to jump into the first one we're going to start off with imps adventure so as i said imps adventure is that brand new event that we got right at easter easter was the very first time we had this and previously easter was always a profitable event but now instead we have imps adventure so this is a week that you need to save multiple different things number one being 4500 gems because you are able to buy lucky dice not lucky dice regular dice in the event so you can up, you can purchase up to 30 of them and it costs 4500 gems you want to get those because there's chances to get really great rewards like these here you can get heroic scrolls elite five stars you can get skin chests five star selection chest six star dummy chest light and dark six star or light and dark five star chest uh resource chest or if you get all the way up to 300 which yes you can do it free to play is just extremely not not, not probable we will say and uh and yeah you can get nine star puppets but this is an amazing event you can get 100 percent free to play just make sure you're saving up some gems you can get all these awesome rewards, which is going to make building your heroes easier. Another thing that you can get to help your dice is the shelter event. So much like this right here, we have six heroes, four of which are from the normal factions. These will give dice and gear. You want to make sure you save up your four star shards to make sure you can cash them in. For some of these heroes because usually they're pretty good in this example Garud and Penny great for newer players mid-game players Augustine and Nakia not great but you really want those dice because those dice are going to be extremely valuable last up we have the first week of Grey Dwarf's Blessing so this event essentially lets you upgrade your four star gear to five star five star to six star and six star to class specific gear which have extra bonuses so if you are a newer player typically the only one you will want to do is taking six star gear and turning it into a class set that you want because it does cost a lot of gold and a lot of gems if people are more spenders sometimes they'll do the five to six and maybe even the four to five but for the majority of players i highly recommend not going for those so right after Imp's Adventure, the next event we have are the Heroic Summoning event. So this is where new heroes are going to be coming out every single month. There is a rotating schedule as well of the order that they do heroes. Now the faction specific, not so much, but typically what we will have is Christmas, which is about to happen. We will have a light or dark hero. And then Chinese New Year, we will have the opposite. So if we have a light at Christmas, we'll have a dark at Chinese New Year. And then they will go through the other four factions in any random order. But they'll always make sure they do all four of them before adding another one. So uh, one thing that is probably going to throw you for a loop is this next month after Christmas, we have a heroic summon event between Christmas and Chinese New Year. That rarely ever happens. So be prepared. We might have something that kind of throws a mix into the schedule. But overall, 
That is typically how it works out. You will get the hero. You will get shards. You will also have the second week of Grade Wars Blessings. So, yes, it is a two-week event. So, if you don't do it on the first week, you can still do it on the second week. They do not refresh. They're only purchasable once, no matter which week you buy it. So, don't worry about taking your time. With the summoning event, we have the Palace of Eternity. So, by doing heroic summonings, you will get currencies that will help you... Uh, basically swap newer heroes to the newest hero. So if you, for some reason, use your scrolls on an event and you really don't like the hero, you can always swap to the next one using those currencies. Uh, and of course, we also have the altar event, which has two to four different heroes in it that you can use your shards for to purchase one copy of each. So that is something you typically want to save up and not spend those on the ones that are in game already. The defaults, none of them are good save up for the perfect good hero so as far as saving for the heroic summoning event the typical rule of thumb is you do not use heroic scrolls until you have 2000 roughly 1800 because you you will get more during the event when you're on a heroic summoning event but you want to save up for a couple big events as free to play and low spenders number one is christmas or chinese new year so you usually have to pick one or the other. You can't do both. It's just not possible to get enough scrolls 100% free. The other one is Anniversary. Anniversary has been an event that has two heroes released at the same time the past two years. Is it debatable? Is it better or not? I don't know. Chinese New Year has typically been the most meta-defining hero in the past couple years. We had Ada. We had Carrie. Those are two of the strongest heroes that ever came out at the time. So, yeah, you might want to plan, but do not use your heroic scrolls outside of the 2000 scroll completion event. Next up, following the heroic summoning event, is our profit orb week. So, yes, doing profit orbs has become extremely useful lately because, well, it only takes two months from a hero to go from a heroic summoning event brand new to coming on over and getting a possible of four copies of a hero. So yes, you want to save your profit orbs to do 320 at once. That's four full loops. You want to save your profit orbs for those types of events and try to time it with a bigger holiday. So this year we really haven't had many holidays line up with profit orb events, although we will have one on New Year coming up in a couple weeks, which that could be a pretty good event. You got a plan though. As far as Profit Orbs go, there used to be a couple big Profit Orb events during the year. Those have kind of disappeared, and instead you just have better overall events. So, as far as Profit Orbs go, number one, I would save up until you have 320 Profit Orbs for a full quad loop. And then at that point, I would wait and find the hero you want. A lot of people in November used them for Ticks because Ticks was such an amazing meta-defining hero. So that's why people saved up for that one. With the Profit Orb event, you will also have the Heroic Miracle. This one requires you to pull out five stars from Light, Dark, Abyss, Fortress, Forest. What's the last one I missed? Shadow. There we go. Uh, you pull them all out, and then you get one hero copy at the top. Of course, with scrolls, Profit Orbs, a whole slew of different rewards. Just make sure you save up two Light and Dark five stars in your bag so you can pull them out and guarantee that you get whoever the hero copy is because it's usually a pretty good copy. We do have the first week of Glorious Boost. So this is what you should always be spending your relics on, your feathers, relics, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this is the new way to spend relics. Before it was to buy light and dark hero copies, but now that you can get five star dark and light chests to get hero copies from there, uh, the go-to is only spend relics on these because these are meta-defining relics or artifacts that are really going to affect your gameplay Mainly because of this event. Ormus Workshop is also going to be open for its first week. The second Glorious Boost is out. And that is because you can now craft upgraded pay to win artifacts. So make sure you're saving up. Make sure you're getting the Ormus Workshop items you want. Of course, Crown, AMB, Rui Scepter. Those are some of the best artifacts in the game right now. So definitely save your relics for that.
And last but not least, this is the fourth week in the rotating schedule. It is the most idle, relaxed one there is, and that is the campaign loot. So in the campaign loot, you need to requ you're required essentially to log in once every 12 hours and claim your campaign loot. That way you get the event currency and you can potentially get some good hero copies, maybe an artifact maybe even just profit orbs or something like that so every time it's different artifact different heroes but the safe thing is for most players buy those eight profit orbs with your currency that's going to be the best bang for your buck and occasionally if you're going to spend go for the artifact so with that we will also have the gem boxes so gem boxes is uh kind of rotates between two different types the first one will have an 8,000 gem box that has a good hero copy, relics, and guild coins, while the other one has exclusive orange artifacts and guild coins for 6,000 gems. Now, that one's not necessarily a great one to grab for the average player. For whales, they always need those uh, orange exclusive artifacts, but regular players really don't. So... Typically what I say is I buy the lowest two chests that have heroic scrolls and profit orbs. I stay away from the mid two grades and then I buy the top tier one when it has those relics in there. That is going to be the best bet for low and free to play players. With that, we also have the wishing fountain event. So in that event, you are going to use your coins to get currencies and then also get some profit orbs a few relics and then a very low tier five star hero it's never worth saving for a certain five star hero because they're never good ones you want to build they're borderline usable essentially so what i tell people to do is make sure you save up four completions worth of coins you can see how many you need here for each event i think it's 300 per loop so if you're free to play, you need 1,200. If you are VIP three or higher, you need 960 coins. Save those four loops up because once to twice a year, there will be an event that rewards you for doing four full loops of this. So what I've been doing is I make sure I get to my four completions and then every month I'll do like one extra completion. That way I get some resources, I get some profit orbs. It works out good and I can still get back to those four completions by the next Wishing Fountain event. And lastly, we have week two of Glorious Boost and the Ormus Workshop. So overall, that is pretty good. Not a bad week. It's definitely more of an idle week where there's not much interaction, but that's not too bad. So hopefully this helped you out kind of plan out a little bit better and realize what the schedule is in Idle Heroes. We're going to try to do a lot more beginner oriented videos. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, please make sure you take one second, hit that subscribe button. We're going to have a ton of more guides and uh, beginner tips coming out in the very near future. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know if you think I should add anything else or if I missed anything. And I'll see you guys next time.